Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here, welcome back to The Witcher 3, and it's still Wild Hunt. It is true, we have finished the main story of the game. It seems that we're back at uh, Kaer Morhen. It was an amazing, an amazing finish, uh, an amazing ending, not an amazing finish, an amazing ending to uh, an amazing story. In my, that, that's my opinion um, of it. I'm looking forward to starting the... Um, the DLCs but before we do so we still have we still have at least one quest that we need to finish which is this one it's called high stakes and basically we would need to um, compete in a Gwent tournament I, uh, there's also one more thing that I want to do uh, and that thing is I want to um, do the to craft the armor the next level of the woven gear so let's just go ahead and uh, do that I'm going to go to uh, Novik to Velen sorry um, to our master blacksmith or armor smith and see if she can create the armor for us if we have all the materials and then we are going to head to Novigrad because that's where we have this uh, tournament where that we need to you know compete in it's in the passiflora if i remember correctly and I really hope we will uh, be able to, you know, win it. Because at the end of the day, that is the whole uh, purpose of, uh, of us competing in there. So, let's, uh, let's move on from here to Velen. Uh, to actually, to Crow's Perch. Uh, right over here. And I will... Uh, craft the um, master crafted woven armor I believe that's the next level and uh, yes we uh, we shall take it from there so let's have a look here um, I think we can just go like that people are minding their own business they don't even know <laughs> Excuse me. They don't even know what we did for them, right? They don't even know. But it's okay. It's okay. We don't need any praises. We don't need, you know. We don't need people to know necessarily that we were the ones that managed to um, defeat the wild hunt. We are just the Witcher at the end of the day, right? As Siri said. Now, let's have a look here. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Well, I would like to, um... Need some armor made. Get Witcher's some armor. armor. Yeah, exactly. Now, let's have a look here really quickly. It's called Master Crafted Woven Boots. And, of course, we are missing some uh, things. So, Meteorite Silver Ingot. Okay. Uh, crafting components. <clears throat> Meteorite. This is gonna take a while, so I might just um, skip this part for you guys, and I'll just show you the armor at the end. Where you think you're going, Mucker? What the hell? You're in the military operation zone. And our jobs to collect the water. Excuse Look me. More like you're collecting for a round of vodka to me. I wonder I do. Will you be that cheeky when we accuse you of spying? Now shut your trap and pay. Huh? What happens if I don't? Not about to give you a copper. Told you he was a spy. We're gonna arrest you in the name of Good King Radovid. You can always try. What's going on here? 
Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witcher'd make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. Here we go. I catch you extorting coin again, you'll go straight to the front. The Eastern Front. And you, Witcher, best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell. What the hell was that all about? Fuck. Okay. Anyway, I was uh, on my way to my favorite um, uh, weaponsmith because I need to craft the weapons. Here he is. So I'd like you to craft something for me. Let's see now. You should be. Whoops. Wrong guy. <clears throat> My bad. My bad, guys. Wrong guy. So um, where is he? My favorite... Oh, I think... I think my favorite uh, weaponsmith might not be able to make me the swords. Let me see. I think I think I need to go to Hattori. I might need to go to Hattori. Let me just have a look here for a second. Ah, there he is. And if I do have to go to Hattori, then um, I will do that. Uh, willing to craft something for me, buddy? Will you craft something? Let's see here. Can you craft me my master crafted? No, you can't. It's interesting. So you can craft the master crafted silver sword, but you can't craft the other one. Okay. Okay, so I need to go to Hattori, guys. So be right Farewell. back. We'll be in uh, Hattori's place in a second. Okay, here we go. Hattori's place is right here. Greetings, Ibir. Greetings, guys. <clears throat> How might I be of help? I need you to craft something for Listen, me. Would you craft something for me? Here we go. Let's see. Can you craft my silver sword? My beautiful master crafted. Are you freaking kidding me right now, man? What the hell? Okay, that's not good. Uh, uh, no. Feline. Oh, wait a second. It's called... Okay, it's called Wolven Silver Sword Master Crafted. Not Master Crafted. Okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, so let's go boom. And uh, then you can also craft the Steel Sword, right? The Wolven, wo 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 Wolven Steel Sword. Here we go. Uh, no, not this one. Not this one. Master crafted, please. Thank you very much. Four hundred and seventeen crowns. Okay, guys. So, thank you very much, Ibeer. So long. This is it. This is the gear. As you can see, it looks a little bit more shiny than uh, than uh, the previous uh, set, let's say. Actually, it looks... I think it looks very, very nice. Oh, man, it looks amazing. Like, yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, now, the only thing is... Let me see here. 5% chance to stagger, burning poison... Stagger, bleeding, piercing. Mm, yeah, it's okay. Now, the thing is, I removed the um, the glyphs from uh, the armor, from the previous armor, um, because I want to put certain glyphs on this one, and those glyphs are the greater glyph of Quen on my chest piece, and then my idea would be to have greater glyphs of Igni on everything else just so I can set everything on fire so I'm just gonna do this here because I have it but then I'll have to get <clears throat> the rest anyways I'll do that offline and try to craft them myself because I, I actually did that uh, in the past I crafted um, my glyphs myself it is kind of expensive it, it is true but um, I don't know it's not as expensive as buying them, I don't think. Uh, okay, cool. Now, let's move on to... Let's move on to Passi, the, the Passiflora. 
and talk to the scribe. I think there is a fee that we need to pay. I believe, if I remember correctly, it is about um, it is about one thousand crowns. I don't know how much you will get out of it if you win it. I hope I'll win it, um, but it is um, one thousand crowns to get you in the game, so to say. <clears throat> so yeah. This should be interesting. Before we start, though, I'll, I'm going to check my decks really quickly. Um, I think I have pretty good decks. I mean, at, at least the Nilf Nilfgaardian deck is pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, let me see here. Here we go. This is the place. Now, let me just have a look here really quickly. Now, the leader card... In the Nilfgaardian Empire is this one. Can I... Do I have other leader cards here? Which one are the leader cards? Weather cards, special cards... How the hell do I check if I have other... Leader cards? Change leaders. Here we go. There we go. What do we have here? <clears throat> Pick a Torrential Rain? No. Cancel your opponent's leader ability. Hmm, that might prove useful. Uh, restore abilities that restore a unit in the battlefield. Restore a randomly chosen unit affects both players. I'm expecting these guys to be very powerful, and I'm just thinking that maybe, maybe this time around we switch the leader here. Um, hmm. Draw a card from your opponent's disc discard pile. Nah, pick a torrential rain. You know what? I'm gonna pick this one. Just because I think the monster deck... Let me just look at the monster deck really quickly here and see. Monster's deck. Uh, what do we have? So, what what are the possibilities? Pick any weather card from your deck. Mm, not that good. Uh, double the strength of all your close combat units unless a commander's horn is also present in that row. This one is a pretty powerful card. If our opponents would have monster's deck, monster decks and they would use this, it would be pretty powerful. Uh, leader ability, discard two cards and draw one card of your choice from your deck. If, okay, restore a card from your discard pile to your hand. Okay, or doubles the strength of all spy cards. Oh, wow, this is powerful as well. I don't have it, but if they have it... Okay, leader, double the strength of all your close combat units. You know what, I'm gonna pick this one here. For mine. So I'm thinking I'm going. I'm gonna go in with an Elfgardian deck. Um, and make the best of it. Now, let's have a look here at this. Pick an impenetrable fog, okay. Clear any weather effects, resulting blah blah blah, okay. Doubles the strength of your siege units, unless the commander horn is present. And destroy your enemy's strongest ranged combat units, if the combined strength of all his or her combat ranged units is 10 or more. Wow, this is very powerful in uh, a um, against a Scoia'tael deck, I think. Strength of uh, wait a second. How many siege units do we actually have? <clears throat> One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. One, two, three, four. Okay. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, eh, not bad. You know what? I'm actually going to take this one. Doubles the strength of all your siege weapons. Yeah, why not? Okay, Scoia'tael. What do we? What can we choose from here? Pick a Biting Frost. No. Draw an extra card at the beginning of your battle. That's good. Doubles the strength of all ranged combat units. That's good as well. Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units. Damn. And move agile units to whichever valid row maximizes their strength. Whoa. We don't have this one, but that this one's cool. Francesca Findebear. You know what? I'm gonna go for draw an extra card at the end of your... I think that's what I had. Okay, so we're going in with what I, I believe our best... I believe our best deck... Wait a second, special cards. Clear Weather, Biting Frost. Why don't we have a Scorch in here? Put a Scorch in here. Okay, I believe our best deck, or the deck that I'm most comfortable with, is the Nilfgaardian Empire deck. Um, 
I might... I might remove dandelion from it, though. And I might also remove... I have three of those. I'll remove one of these guys. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is how we're gonna go with. So I have one Scorch, one Commander's Horn. That should be okay. And then the others... Do I have anything else here that I, uh, like, high strength units that are awesome on their own? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, this is going to be very interesting. Now, my monster's dick has 24 cards. I have one Scorch in it. Close combat... Close combat. Ooh, I got. I have Imlerith. I have all the Crones. That's good. Wow, I have a lot of close combat units in here. So maybe, maybe this one says destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units. Boom, boom, shakalaka. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm going to remove Vesemir from this one and add uh, Villain Mirrorth or whatever his name is. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. And then. So we have 24 cards, but. I think I will do a clear. I will use a clear weather in here. Uh, oh no, we already have a clear weather. Never mind, never mind. I don't need three commanders' horns. What the hell? Who needs three commanders' horns? Like, seriously. No, no, that's it, I think. 24 cards, I'm okay with that. 23 cards in this one, 10, 23 in our Northern Realms, and 23 in our Scoyatel. What the fork? Um, these guys work together. Let me just uh, let me just make sure. <coughs> Excuse me, Mahakam Defender. They don't do anything really. Uh, these guys work together well. I think I'm gonna add this guy here as well and just remove one of the Mahakam Defenders. I'm sorry about that, guys. Don't have anything against you. Just, uh, just trying to put in cards that have dwarven skirmisher here. Why don't I have all of them? Let's have all of them because that's that's good to have. Now moving on here. I'm sorry if this is boring for you guys. I'm just trying elven skirmisher. Okay. Elven Skirmisher 1. That's it, just... You know what? I'm gonna remove you. Wow, okay. And I'm gonna put your in instead. Whoa! This guy's powerful as well. Destroy your enemy's strongest siege combat units. Damn, that's, that's a powerful card. And what should I... This one is good against siege combat units. Okay. Gaunter Odim, I have two of those. Okay. So synthesis. Whoo, damn son. Um, maybe take out one of these. Another one of the Mahakam defenders. Yeah, I'm gonna take out another one of the Mahakam Defenders just to have 24 cards. Okay. Let's go. What the hell? You cannot save your game right now. Why? Why is this... Now, here we go. Okay. Well. Let's get ready for this, guys. Are you ready? I'm ready. I hope. Look at that uh, painting. Yeah. Why, hello there. <laughs> Gesundheit. Heard you play for high stakes here. Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? Oh, he's gonna inspect my decks, huh? Cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? 
A uh, thousand crowns? Yeah, why not? We can. Well, let's have a name then, and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. The match will start soon, Geralt. but the hoi polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! Okay. Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. Um, hello? I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. <laughs> Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Really? Well, I've heard nothing about Place you. like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. Place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. Okay. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar. But that is Patrick Hazelnut. Mm -hmm. Never goes anywhere without those three. Mm -hmm. Met a man once who traveled with two Zerakanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of others. Outcast types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. Mm -hmm. And I'm certain okay. you've heard of Count Tybalt. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Count Actually, Tybalt. I haven't heard yeah, him. I haven't heard. He's reputed to be fabulous. Don't know who he is. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. Okay. Well, nice talking to you, right. Sasha. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. Um, okay, mingle with the other pe uh, peasants. <laughs> with the other contestants, I meant to say, of course. Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. Whoa, <laughs> really? I can see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. Okay. That. Okay. Not much of a talker. Hey, darling. Hey there. Hey, what you uh, yeah, I can't say I don't. I'm new to this too. It took me ages to squirrel <laughs> away the coin for the buy-in. Yeah, I'm sure. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. <laughs> You really a farmer? Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, said I'd get my throat slit in the ground. But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. The best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. Okay. Good luck then. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now, that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half-elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. He's, <laughs> he's been doing that to everybody. And I'm about to go talk to him for a second and see what, uh, what's up with, uh, with him. <gasps> Hi there, Phineas. What? Playing tournaments often? What are to you? Perhaps you'd wish to see my cards as well. Am I a hee-haw for you to fondle before you choose? Jeez, Can man. I wag my prick for you? See your cards when we play. You would likely to advance that far, mutant. Okay, half-elf. 
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. By closed, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Mm -hmm. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy-in. Easy oh, enough so to calculate 9, 000, the nine eh? have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Achoo! Phineas and Tim not. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard <laughs> Tull. Gervolt. <laughs> How about that? Bramble mm -hmm. Frontenstock and Chuh! Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. Okay, so. Is that it? We're just gonna play? Him? Okay. Starting at last. A year down the road, I'll be plying Hortensia and my lads with tales of this night. Let's play! Okay. Well, we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. Like this. Oh, he's playing Northern Realms and he has. Okay. Um. Uh, one spy. I don't really have spies, huh? That's not good. Um, so. Alright. Um, maybe he has uh, some spies as well. Or, no. Screw it. Let's just go like this. Mm hmm. Well now, let's see, what do you have buddy? Nice one. But I have it too. Oh, I like, I like the way you're playing. <clears throat> so far. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I wanted to check. So, destroy your enemy's strongest siege units. Oh, cool. Well, that's not going to be useful for you, because... Ah, uh, well, technically, I only have one. Your opponent has passed. He has seven strength, so I'm just going to use my siege unit here so he won't be able to destroy it next turn. <laughs> Maybe I should have used my spy as well. Um, okay, let's try it again here. Yennefer. <clears throat> Very well played, uh, my friend. Very well played. Um, okay, then. Let's see, do you have a Scorch? No, but you have the this guy. Oh, but... Okay, never mind. So this guy, again, this does destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units if the combined strength... Is ten or more. Okay. Oh, you have a scorch. That is uh, very good. Okay. Um. Well then. Let's see here. Can we do this? 
Do you have another Scorch? No, you have a Siri. That's good. Mm. Let's go like that. Maybe I should have kept my uh, my uh, power here to see when he has three cards remaining, what will he do. So, just a second here. So, this card says destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units. But I take it, it won't, will it, dis it won't destroy golden cards, will it? I don't think so. <clears throat> Let's not risk it here. Okay, that's good. And then we go like this. Impenetrable fog. Very well, very well. I'm just trying to keep these guys alive as much as possible. Whoa. Okay, I don't have... I don't have anything there. So, wait a second. I have one and two. So if I were to use, wait a second here, if I were to put this one here, if he has a Scorch now, he has Biting Frost, wow, very, very interesting because I don't have any, huh, um, okay, alright, I have to say, he, um, his cards are quite quite powerful, especially since my most of my cards are holy smokes, man. What can I... Oh, I can restore this one. Okay. That's good. And... Zoltan won't do you much good. And I won't be able to uh, bring back anything here. And... What's his final card? Yeah. It's not gonna help you out, man, but... Uh, well played. Very, very well played, I have to say. Congratulations. Bit of a shame being eliminated in the first round, but so it goes. It is only a game. Having a good time, that's what matters. I like the attitude. I thought he would be a little bit more sour about everything. So, how did you fare in the first round? Actually, quite well. Not bad. Guessing you won too. I've the distinct impression my opponent was drunk. <coughs> had an altogether decent hand, but... Might have had a hard time concentrating. Hmm. Care to finish this conversation in private? I have a proposition for you. Meet on the terrace upstairs. Whoa! Okay. Alright. Meet on the terrace upstairs. Oh. Can I talk to anybody else? Count T-Ball. We wish you a pleasant night. May fortune smile on you always. Okay. Could it be that all roads lead to the passive flora? Yes, they do. Welcome back. Hmm. When I look at you, why? I almost regret I'm no longer an active duty. Okay, never mind. We don't have anything to talk to you about. Take care now. Okay, sorry. Let's uh, meet Sasha on the balcony. Which I presume... It's through here. Yeah. 
Hello, Sasha. Mm, alone at last. Mm -hmm. What did you want to talk about? A cartload of coin. That's the grand prize, you know. I can't speak for you, but I'd prefer it didn't land in the wrong hands. And luck can be so undependable. Frankly, one should simply take the coin, subtly, you know, without bothering the others. Huh. As propositions go, this is not exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> you don't seem like a... Thief? True, it's not my day job. Which is why I could use some help. Why are you telling me this? Why tell me? I'm a woman. I'm in need of that coin. And Geralt of Rivia would never abandon a woman in need. Or so I heard. Who do you hear it from? Fringilla Vigo. She told me of your adventures in Beauclair. Apparently you're dependable. So long as the cause is just. Hmm. From Gila Vigo, huh? Interesting. Um... Fine. Let's say I help you. I'll split the coin with you, of course. Split? What if I win the tournament? I shall have another proposition for you then. What's the plan? I shall tell you all when the time is right. For now, just stay alert. Mm-hmm. And if you are eliminated, stay till the tournament's end. It'll be worth your while. You'll see. All sounds pretty mysterious, but fine. Pretty mysterious and Excellent. pretty... Now that's I don't simple. like it. Let's rejoin the others. Yeah, okay. I really don't like it. I think she's going to pull a fast one on us. I mean, I don't really, I don't want to help her, uh, honestly. I'm just going along I'm with so it just to see what happens for the moment. So. Mm. What? So, uh, here we go. Time for round two. Your attention, please. Madam Sasha. And Gilbert of Rivia. Jesus, man. It's Geralt. Phineas and Harold Featherbuns. <laughs> we wish you a pleasant match. May fortune smile on you but, always. So now we're playing against her. Huh. You are a vulgar one. So if... Place. What the hell? What ah! if she went against Sasha? Where is she going? Ah, we're playing upstairs, eh? Okay. Let's have a look. I get no pleasure whatsoever from easy victories. So I should be very angry if you let me win. <laughs> okay. Don't plan to. Curious about that other proposition though. Um I'm actually still going to go ahead with my uh, Nils Guardian deck here. Oh, you have an Elf Guardian deck as well, eh? Hmm. I don't know what. Uh, okay. Well, if you have an Elf Guardian deck, I bet you you have a bunch of uh, spies. Whoa. Uh. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to keep my entire hand here because I'm I'm actually banking on her having all the spies possible and I'm just going to use my decoys on them. Yeah, let's go. Let's see. Or not. Um, oh shit. Okay. Perfect. So far, so good, I would say. Um, come on, play that spy card. Thank you very much. Hmm. 
Mm. Wait a second. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, here we go. So she does have a spy card here. Um, pretty good one, actually. The, the, the only one that you cannot decoy or, or bring back. Holy moly. All right. Um, let's go like this for now. See, do you have a Scorch? Your opponent has passed. Huh. Oh, she has... Tw ah, I see what she did there. Um... Uh, ch -ch 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 You know what? She has 12 cards. Ah, oh, crap. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pass here as well. Win this one. I just need to look at her... Her ability. Oh, but her ability is cancelled, right? Draw a card from your opponent. Discard pile. Right? Because this cancel your opponent's ability. This basically is a passive. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Uh, let me see here. Let's go like this. Very good, uh, Francesca. Or Sasha, sorry, not Francesca. Fringilla Vigo, there she is. Um... <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that is that is great, actually. That is great, actually. Yes, please. Okay. I'm um, waiting for her to use more of these guys so I can scorch them. But I don't know if we will get the chance. Let's see. So we're, we're doing pretty well, I think. Really? Really? You're going to use scorch on that? Interesting. Okay, well. Let's see what you do now. Good, good, okay, okay. Um, I'm a little bit weary about using the my last spy, basically. Because that would mean a 14 strength for him. For her, sorry. Fourteen strength card. You little. You know what? Screw you then. Let's go like this. Okay. Hmm. Bye bye. Okay, so she wants to put that and move it. I got you now. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. What do we have in our discard pile here that we can use? Let's 
useful like this. She's going to revive a spy, of course. I wouldn't have thought otherwise. She's now she's she, now she has an advantage. Damn it, I don't like this. Um Okay. Now if she has Scorch. It's not gonna be good. Wow. Very wet very wow wow wow. She played it very well. And I think we're gonna lose here. I actually think we are going to lose. I'm trying to stall as much as possible, but... Well, technically, if she has a Scorch, she is going to take away... what? 19? Commander's Horn... crap. But she still has 7 cards. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, that's it, I guess. Shit, fifteen plus ten. I think she's going. I, I think she, we're going to get our ass kicked right now. Holy moly! 107... 111... Clear weather... And... Ho ho ho! Wow, amazing! Alright, I like this. Well, I hope your luck holds. My luck? Hmm. I wouldn't really call it luck, it was skill. Ladies and gentlemen, the third round. The heat is on. The nearest round's winner will face Count Tybalt himself in the final. <coughs> Phineas and Gerard of Rivia. Gerard. I'll not play a mute. Are we to understand are you crazy? To forfeit this round? Yeah, are you forfeiting? Fine. In that case. <laughs> No, I'm not swiving forfeit the round. I shall squash him like a louse. A good match to you both. Please remember the tournament rules. No magic, no quarrels. Play. Okay, whoa, that's... that's okay. Well, I'm going to continue with my lucky... Uh, Nilfgaardian Empire, and I actually believe that this card, I'm super happy that I, I chose my hero card, I changed my hero card because it's, I think it's pretty powerful. It basically, it cancels out my opponent's hero ability, which is awesome. Okay, what do we have here? Well, we don't have enough spies, that's what we don't have. <laughs> I don't like this. Um, close combat units. It's not gonna work like that, I don't think. Uh, sh crap. Oh, come on, man. This is bad. I like. Let me think. Oh, really? What the hell? You're gonna use Scorch on that. Okay. Listen, buddy. You can do whatever you want. If you want to use Scorch on that, be my guest. Um...
pretty uh, pretty powerful. might pass. Uh, I am going to... Du -du 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 -du. Hmm. Okay, is he going to pass or not? Yeah, he is going to pass. Okay. I'm going to pass as well. Okay, I, I still have a card advantage over him, but I need to win the next two rounds, and it's going to be nasty. Because if he only has golden cards, I'm screwed, basically. Shit. I really don't like this. Why does he have only golden cards? Your opponent has passed. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Okay, and I win in this case. Alright. Now, what do you have, buddy? My turn? I had a pretty weak hand, I have to say. A pretty, pretty weak hand. Oh, for fudge's sake. The little rascal. Lucky. He was lucky there. Oh my god, and I cannot play my Scorch. This is such bullshit. Holy comoly. They should have swept you out with the rest of the scum at the start. You remember our deal, right? You'll stay till the tournament's end. Yes. Promised to help, didn't I? Damn it. Superb match. A great pleasure. The prize will be yours. Faith! The coin's gone! What the hell? The guard's been stabbed! What? How is this possible? Really? No one's removed the coin from the premises. All those leaving were searched. Sasha, Shoot. what did you do? We must scour the building. Anyone leaving must pass inspection. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't win, but I was very unlucky. Before you ask, it wasn't me. Figured as much. Okay. You promised to help me. I say we try to recover the coin together. Um, hmm. Well, it's better than nothing, I mean. Agreed. Where do we start? We must get upstairs. Wait. I say, this Witcher is Captain Hansen's good friend. He could examine the crime scene. Charge only a trifling. A fee? But... We will, of course, collect it from the Captain personally. How is his injury from the other week? Has it healed yet? Well, I did it. Splendid. We shall go upstairs at once. Okay. Follow the guard to the crime scene. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of bummed that I didn't win there. Especially because, like, the last guy was kind of weak, but I, did, I had a, bad, a pretty bad hand and I, yeah, I don't know. That was that. Nothing I can do about it now. Uh, 
Uh, ne next time we see the captain, my lady, I'd um, appreciate your mention. That is all, good fellow. You may go. The Witcher requires absolute silence while he works. <laughs> of course. <laughs> absolute silence. That went well. Really know the captain? Yes, a horrid man. Come now, get to work. Okay, so the idea here is that we find the money and we steal the money, right? <laughs> Blows delivered from a strange angle. Expert though, precise. But who would steal the money if it wasn't Sasha? something over there which we will examine in a second Sasha you don't have to stay to be my shadow you know I can manage Somebody dragged something heavy towards the terrace something heavy something heavy towards the terrace okay here we go whoa crossbow bolt a line tied to it lines clearly been cut Thief might have used it to lower the sack of coin. He'd need an accomplice waiting down below to grab it. Hmm. hmm. Something down there, but I can't make it out. Oh. Must have been one of the players. Lowered the coin down on the line, then strolled past the guards. Hmm. This was well prepared. Think you can track the culprit down? Maybe. Don't know yet. Maybe. I'll look in the street, see if I can find anything there. Maybe it was the halfling. You know, because he's small. Come on. He can get out fast. I don't know, I'm just saying. Okay. Um, check for clues behind the brothel. Let's go then. Um, well, it's gone dark very f fast in here for some reason. Uh, let me just check behind here. Geralt of Rivia, I am indebted. Oh. I'm what? glad to hear As that. Now, we have another piece of rope right over here. Same as the one tied to the bolt. Gonna have to look around. Where's that scent coming from? Cinnamon. Strange. Cinnamon. I don't smell a thing. Cinnamon would be pretty, pretty strong smell. Uh, like, okay, impressive that we can smell it Arr! with all these flowers around. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm looking for someone who smells of cinnamon. Uh. Whoa! Whoa! Uh -oh. Here we go. Haste makes waste. Culprit lost this crate. Must have fallen off the wagon. Wh Can you be certain? What else did the they thing? steal? Crossbow under the packages. <laughs> Itching to crack a pun about every rosemary having its. I appreciate <laughs> you resisting the impulse. Hmm, I've seen this guild mark. Hmm. It's a trading company's. One that imports spices from Zeracania. What? They have a storehouse at the docks. Northernmost one on this side of the port. Shall I meet you there? Uh, Sounds good. Okay. I have to say the close-up on Geralt's armor. Like, look at this. Wow. Yeah. Uh, okay, so meet Sasha at the warehouse. The warehouse is... Whoa. Okay. That way. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh well. I'm still thinking about losing the tournament. <laughs> but on the other hand, guys, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it like this. I bet you all the other YouTubers that you've watched have won the tournament. I bet you I'm the only one that hasn't. Eh? You got to see something new, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like that. It'll make me feel better. <laughs> okay, what the hell?
Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Before we do anything, I have five points to spend here, and I want to spend them like so. Four points, and then the remaining one. Yeah, I'll decide later. Okay. Let's go. I don't think we've been into this part of, uh, of Novigrad before, have we? Maybe we have, but from a different, uh, from a different angle. Because this part really doesn't look familiar for me. Sorry, guys. Oh, here we go. There are six inside. I wasn't able to get the door. Six. Gotta find oh, and you changed your clothes, eh? Gotta find another way in. Maybe through here. Why, hello there, my good sir. Uh, I'm cold. I'm sorry, kid. Here's the wagon. Smell the cinnamon now. Uh, I was right about the warehouse. Yes, you were. Okay. Um, how can we get inside? No. Seriously? Try to get in through here. Lead the way. Through where? Oh, through there. Gotcha now. Okay, Geralt, here we go. We got an open window there. Let's get in. Let's, uh... Sasha, there's nobody in. Check what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna check what's going on. Oh, there actually is. Okay. Well, there is no way for me to check what's going on without getting into a fight. I think with six dudes. Hello there. I knew it. I told you it was the the halfling. And which one's Hortensia? Oh, yeah, no, this guy. The tall one. <laughs> Masquerade's done, Tully. Give us the coin. Masquerade? <laughs> well put. Been watching you from the start, sweetheart. Though I ought to admit, I thought you'd follow me alone. Told him who you are yet? No? I'm sure he'd love to hear it. Go on, tell him. Or I'll tell Hortensia to break your fingers. Sasha. What's this about? It's about Madame Sasha swallowing my mushroom farming nonsense hook, line and sinker when she should have been more vigilant. So, will you tell him who you spy for? Or would you rather scream it out? Sasha, Let go of her. what's going on? One of you restrain him, then make sure he gets a good view. Really? You're gonna restrain me? Let's dance. Yeah, let's do this, boys. One second, though. Uh, where the heck is it? First, buddy. Oh, she is good with the sword. Oh, good work. I did not, in fact, suspect him, whereas he clearly caught on to me long ago. So you Athens are. Can be unpredictable. At any rate, we've succeeded. Now to divide the coin. We ought to give it back to the tournament's winner. Tell me, you jest. I do. Say we split it 50 50. <laughs> Phew. Know what? Let's have dinner at the Kingfisher. My treat to celebrate my last day in Novigrad. Heading back to Nilfgaard? That's why you needed the coin? I see you miss very little. Mm -hmm. Still got a touch of an accent. Ah, oh, well. 
It seems I shall need a new trait. Anyway, I'm compromised in Novigrad, so... Eh. Who were you before you became a spy? I don't rightly remember anymore. But I suppose you can call me Cantarella. That your real name? Well, almost. Um... I actually think that she's inviting us to dinner so she can, uh, again, pull a fast one on us. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'd want to um, to have that happen. So I'm just gonna say, got plans for the evening. Ha! Huh. You lie. Fine. Perhaps I'll get lucky the next time we meet. Perhaps. I found the key to the storehouse on Bernard's body, so we can leave by the door. And farewell, Geralt of Rivia. What the hell, is that it? Oh yeah, here we go, we got 4,500 crowns. Well, like I said, it's better than nothing. Quest failed, collect them all. Shit. Because I didn't win the tournament, right? That's why. Ah, oh, damn it. Let me just have a look here really quickly. Collect them all. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, well. You can't... Oh, sh crap. I forgot about this. I need, to, I need to change this with this and put the apple in here as well. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to cut this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> we didn't win the um, the tournament, but we at least got 4,500 4, crowns. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to cut this episode here. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.